You might wonder how difficult it must have been for getting a solution. Despite all these, take a look at your phone. You will get a notification providing you a right solution at a finger click. So this is a problem from numerical solutions of ordinary differential equations and we have to use Picot's method. So we have to find an approximate value of y for x is equal to 0.1 comma x is equal to 0.2 if dy by dx is given as x plus y and y is equal to 1 at x is equal to 0 using Picard's method. So it is given that dy by dx is equal to x plus y. We have to assume that it's a function in x comma y. And again it's given that y naught value is equal to 1 and x naught value is equal to 0. We have to use Picard's method. So according to the Picard's method we have y at n is equal to see here the formula I am showing this is y naught plus integral x naught to x f at x comma y at n minus 1 the approximation of dx. So in this formula we have to use for all the approximation for the first approximation I am keeping n is equal to 1. So if I keep n is equal to 1 this will be the first approximation this is y naught and uh, this is x naught to x this is f at y at 1 minus 1 so in place of n if I substitute this one n and this will be y of y at 1 is equal to this is what is y naught here y naught is nothing but 1 plus what is x naught x naught is nothing but 0 to x f at x comma y naught y at uh, 0 so this value is 1 or else I'll write uh, this one at 0 so we have to assume the, this as y naught and therefore the first approximation is 1 plus integral 0 to f f of x comma y naught is 1 so according to our function f of x comma y is nothing but x plus y so we have to add up this x axis and y axis therefore y at 1 is equal to 1 plus integral 0 to x this is x plus 1 of dx according to the question therefore the first approximation is equal to 1 plus the integration for x is x square by 2 and for 1 it is x between the limits 0 to x therefore the first approximation is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 we got the first approximation as 1 plus x plus x square by 2 and later we have to check with n is equal to 2 so this is the formula everybody knows that according to the Picot's uh, method so this is the formula and now I am keeping n is equal to 2 now so if I keep n is equal to 2 and this is the second approximation this will be y naught plus integral x naught to x f at x comma y at this is 2 comma 1 of dx so this will be y y at 2 the second approximation what is y naught y naught is nothing but 1 plus what is x naught? This is 0 plus x f at x at the first approximation of dx. That is the second approximation of y is equal to this is 1 plus this is integral 0 to x f of x plus. What is the first approximation? Just now I have calculated that is 1 plus x plus x square by 2. This is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 of dx. So, according to our question, f of x comma y is nothing but x plus y. So, we have to add up those two. Therefore, y at the second approximation is equal to 1 plus integral 0 to x. And we have to add x plus 1 plus x plus x square by 2 of dx. So, which is equal to 1 plus integral 0 to x. 1 plus these two are like terms. It will be 2x and this is x square by 2 into dx now y at second approximation is equal to 1 plus we have to integrate for 1 dx is nothing but x 2 for x square for x it is x square by 2 and for x square this is x cube by 3 into 2 between the limits 0 to x so y at the second approximation is 1 plus x plus x square and this is x cube by 6 so even even though we substitute in place of upper limit as x the same value comes and this is our second approximation so later we have to go with the third approximation for that 
see so what is the formula here so according to the picot's method so this is the formula in this formula i am going to keep n is equal to 3 this time so this will be the third approximation of y is equal to this is y naught plus this is x naught to x f at x comma y at 3 minus 1 approximation of dx so this will be y at third approximation is y naught this is 1 see here y naught this is 1 and x naught this is 0 to x f at x comma y at second approximation of dx therefore the third approximation of y is equal to 1 plus integral 0 to x this is x comma y at second uh, approximation what is the value here so this is 1 plus x plus x square plus this is x cube by 6 into dx so according to our question this is f of x comma y is nothing but x plus y so we have to add up these two so this is 1 plus integral 0 to x this is x plus 1 plus x plus this is x square plus x cube by 6 of dx so these two are like terms so i am adding these two so this is 1 plus integral 0 to x 1 plus 2x plus x square plus x cube by 6 of dx now we have to integrate so this will be 1 plus integral 1 is nothing but x for x it is x square by 2 for x square this is x cube by 3 and this is x power 4 by 4 between the limits 0 to x so y at the third derivative is 1 plus x plus if i cancel this is x square by 2 this is x cube by 3 this is x power 4 by 24 and this is our third approximation so if you go with fourth it will be very tedious so until third approximation it's enough and we have to calculate which values here we have to calculate the values of y for x is equal to 0 0.1 and x is equal to 0 0.2 now i am going to substitute x is equal to 0 0.1 so if i keep x is equal to 0 0.1 in y so this one 1 plus 0 0.1 plus this is 0 0.1 whole square plus this is 0 0.1 whole cube by 3 and this is 0 0.1 whole power 4 by 24 so y value is equal to this is 1 plus 0 0.1 this is 0 0.01 this is 0 0.001 by 3 and this is 0 0.0001 by 24 so if if you calculate the value will be see i'll show you the value will be 1.1103 so you can use your calci and the next one if i keep x is equal to 0 0.2 then our y value will be 1 plus this is 0 0.2 in place of x we have to keep 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.2 whole square and this is 0 0.2 whole cube by 3 and this value is 0 0.2 whole power 4 by 4 so if i expand this this is 0 0.2 this is 0 0.04 and this is 0 0.008 by 3 plus this is 0 0.0016 by 4 so we'll get the value using calci as y is equal to 1.2427 this is how we have to solve and this is very easy process picot's method it is the easiest to process uh, out of all the methods and please uh, this is the single formula which you have to remember and this is also very easy to remember please if you go through uh, this video you will understand properly and this is all i have to say you today i hope i haven't missed out anything and let me know in the comments if i missed out anything and share this video with somebody whom you care the most and i'll be back more often if you haven't subscribed you know what to do and i'll meet you very very soon in my next video thank you so much